Guys, the next performer coming to the stage wants you to know that she's never done anything like this before. And we're checking it off the bucket list. So let's give a nice round of applause to Kathleen Richardson. <laughs> children. Yay for grown. I have a couple of friends who are uh, much younger than I and are having babies and I was contemplating my actual birth of my children versus theirs and the differences and, and uh, a lot of the differences have to do with drugs. I wasn't uh, given any when I gave birth. Uh, my son was nine pounds, 15 ounces. So he was just about 10 pounds. He was 22 and a half inches long, so he was just about two feet. And, uh, and his head was just about the size of a Buick. <laughs> so uh, I went into labor with him about uh, 11.30 at night, and by 5.30 in the morning, we are freaking out. We're just absolutely convinced that we are going to give birth at any moment, so we race to the hospital, we get there, they put us in a room. And, a nurse comes in and says, you know, that I need to check you. So checking is where they see how far your cervix is, is expanding. It goes from like a, a pinpoint to 10 centimeters, which is the goal. So <laughs> she takes uh, her, her hand and slaps a, a, a glove on this, this giant man hand. <laughs> And, and uh, just, you know, shoves it up in there and into my vaginal region. And, uh, and so that, and that region, let me tell you, was not having a good time at that moment. So she, she pulls her hand out, slaps it go, and she goes, you are a one. And I go, a one? There is no way I am a one. I am at least a ten. Uh, okay, all right, I'll give you maybe a nine, okay, but not a nine. One, and she laughed, and then I said, wait a minute, this baby's gonna be born any moment. She just laughed again and said, <laughs> yeah, no, and walked out of the room. So, 10 hours later, I did have a baby, so there, Woo! Miss, Miss uh, you know, I'm still, uh, still harboring a couple of grudges against him for the day he gave me, but you know, we're okay. Uh, my next child, Dear God, she was like a dream come true. She was a pound and an ounce less. Boom, 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 zippity doo. She is done like a piece of chewing gum. It just, boom, we're done. And that's all I got to say, except that she may still be my favorite. So. <laughs> now my third child, holy crap. Okay, I made the giant egregious error of quitting smoking when, before I got pregnant with that child. Uh, you know, you hear all kinds of stuff, you know, oh, low birth weight children, and oh, smoking is bad for you, and blah, 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 blah. Well, I did quit. And then I gave birth to an 11 pound, six ounce child. Okay, Jesus Christ. I, you know, I, okay, so there's people that, that run marathons, and they say, I wanna see how far my body can go. I wanna do some weightlifting. Um, uh, that is as far as my body goes, okay? I'm just letting you know that was my marathon. And, 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 and it was very, very traumatic. In fact, I called my sister and I said, holy shit, start smoking. Oh my God, that was horrendous. So, so I got another, uh, another uh, little anatomy lesson. So the baby's head is usually a little bigger than the shoulders so that when you are pushing the baby through the canal or as or as our, our Lamaze coach said, and you imagine that the, the cervix is like a, a, a the, the neck of a, of a turtleneck sweater that you're just slowly pushing the head through. Yeah, if the turtleneck sweater is full of glass and barbed wire, Jesus, that was no analogy for that. Anyway, so, so, when, the, when, so when you finally push the head through, you know, the rest is a piece of cake because the shoulders are small. Zoom, we're done, okay? So I've got, I got, of course, my kid, her head is smaller than her shoulders, okay? So the head comes out, her shoulders are stuck. 
So my body says, hey, Kathleen, great job. Oh my God, I can't believe we're done. I'm going, no, we're not. Hello, I have, a, I have something going on down here. I can't even go anywhere with this like this. Oh my, I, I, what am I gonna do? Luckily, luckily my doctor noticed, and my doctor, he said, and, and this, is, this is some wisdom here from years of being a, an obstetrician. He said, Kathleen, you need to push. Okay, all right. Yeah, what the fuck do you think I've been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, six hours. Anyway, so about 8,000 more pushes. We're done. You know, the baby's out. I'm laying there. Everybody's going, baby, baby, baby. And I am laying there like a crappy dish rag. I've got just, just musty and gross and icky. And, you know, my husband, who is not my husband anymore, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, he, he, uh, he comes over and gives me the baby, the, the, wants to give me the baby. He says, here, do you want to hold your daughter? And I'm like, crap, can you just give me a minute? Give me some drugs. God. <laughs> And that's my time. <laughs> Kathleen Richardson, everyone. I think Kathleen should teach a birthing class. That would be so good. 